Welcome to Intello Videos. This video provides a general introduction to the new Intello software. The Intello introduction is divided into five separate videos. For best understanding, these videos should be viewed in order. This fourth video will introduce the working of the navigation panel and how to control multiple Vionics. In this video, we will focus on how the workflow is organized in Intello. The navigation panel, which is the green panel on the right side of the screen, this one here, improves the efficiency by keeping us organized. The navigation panel is divided into different sections. At the top, we have a quick link to the home screen. Wherever you are in Intello, you can always come back in the home screen. So if you are in data, for example, if you open data, you can always go back to the home screen like this. At the bottom, the name of the user currently logged in is visible, as well as the icon to log out and change the user. So we can see here, log out and change a user. So you can create a new profile, test, create, and select. You see, no work system is selected, and you start with a blank Intello screen. But I go back to my own credentials, and you see all the procedures I'm busy with, the Vionic, which is claimed, and the data, which is visible. This section is the procedures in preparation. You can see this by the pencil icon in the procedure tiles. When you create a new procedure, this procedure is placed in the preparation section. So for example, if you start a procedure, completely new, you can first give the name, say, test uh, navigation panel, and type in description navigation panel, like this. You can define a work system, high accuracy, and what kind of other modules we are we can select and then we can start to build the procedure with the commands available in this column and you can see that the test navigation panel is now available as in preparation the procedures in preparation are not assigned to any work system yet and they are kept in the upper right corner in Intello software, so that we can work on them while other procedures are running on the work system. So for example, we can uh, start CV potential static, for example, and we drag and drop it in our work system. Now you see the icon changed from a pencil to a start button like this, and we can start this procedure because the start button becomes available, like this. During the measurement, so we can start this procedure. During the measurement, we can also uh, continue with our uh, not defined procedures yet. So we can open test navigation panel and we can modify and start working on our procedure by just drag and drop commands inside the sequence. Yeah. Next, we have the claimed work system. So this button here, if we double click on it, we will be brought back to the menu control on the monitoring view. The work system icon displays the status of the work system. Maybe you noticed that this icon pulsed with a heartbeat when the measurement was running. So I can start this again, press start, and when I open, you'll see that the icon 
is pulsing with uh, a heartbeat that means that this work system is executing a procedure. Besides the name of the work system, there is also a button to release the work system. This button here. Release when you don't use the work system. A released work system can be cl claimed by another user in the network. We go back to home, select our instrument, and here we can claim it back. Now the instrument is back. To keep the navigation panel tidy, we can close procedures that are no longer needed using the X button. So for example, test navigation panel, I can close. If we try to close a procedure which we, we have not saved, we will be prompted to save it. So this window appears, save modified procedure. You can say close without saving if it's procedure you don't want to use anymore. So you can close it. Below the procedure, we have runs that were collected on the work system during our session. One run is completely uh, finished. That's marked with a check mark and another run is aborted during measurement and this you will find with a stop uh, icon in the tile. The session starts when a work system is claimed and it ends when it is released. The runs during the present session are assigned a run number which continues in ascending order as more runs are collected. The data from each run is automatically saved in the database. In here. So you go to the data and here you'll find the runs uh, and the sessions. So you can find different sessions with different instruments and different um, data. So when you close this you can always find the data back in the database and it can be reopened from the data explorer. So for example, when we reopen a run from the data explorer, from yesterday for example, I can go to my data and select a run from yesterday, like this one, and it go to a new section in my navigation panel, this one here. These runs can be identified by the run icon, so this is the run which looks like a little plot. This one here. It is also possible to work with more than one Fionic instrument at a time, from the same Intello view. When we have multiple work systems claimed, we get more sections in the panel. Let's see how that looks. We go to Home. The 4A3 is already claimed, and the 005 is available. Let's claim this one as well. Claim and connect to the work system. You see that 005 becomes available. It shows me the manual control screen. So this additional work system now has its own section in the panel. Let's select a procedure to run on this section as well. So for example, we can select uh, impedance measurement on one instrument. Let's take this one. We can assign for which number we want to uh, measure. For example, ES potential static will be run on 4A3. And we can take another one. Let's say um, potential uh, CV potential static. And we give that to number 0005, like this. We can start first with the impedance measurement, press start, and at the same time, we can also start with the CV on the other instrument. You see, both procedures are running on two different instruments in the same network. And you can visualize the impedance plot, but also the CV data, at the same time.
So the measurement is running. This one is almost finished. And the moment it's finished, you see a check mark in the data run. This is still busy, so we can follow how many minutes we still have left. One minute. And we can also follow on the menu control where it is. And in the sequence at which frequency we are. So we can also follow that we're now at 630, 500 millihertz, for example, and it goes down to 0 0.100 millihertz. So the measurement is still running. But you can see that it's organized by work system and by sessions. So it's almost finished. So this means that the navigation panel allows us to access a lot of locations with a quick click and it helps us stay organized as we work through our many experiments. Thank you for watching Intello videos. If you found this Intello video helpful, please like and share with your colleagues. You can subscribe to the Metromi Autlab YouTube channel so you are notified when new videos are available.